I've got just the explosive to bust through that barricade. C4. We finished developing C4 charges. Take some with you. People say there is a shortcut. Go back to the coffee factory entrance, then follow the path on the right. That will take you straight to the village. They may have increased security in that area, though. Mm -hmm. Not surprising, after what happened with the tank. What do I do once I'm back at the village? Destroy the barricade at the north side. From there, you can reconnect with the transport route. Mm -hmm. I'll need C4 for that. The explosion will bring everyone running, too. There's probably gonna be a fight, one way or the other. They might not see you if you stick to the narrower pathways. Then just climb over any obstacles. Don't let your guard down after taking out the barricade either. There's a river in the mountains north of the village. You'll see a water pipe running across that's got a walkway you can use as a bridge. I guess they built it to carry water from the hydroelectric plant. To get there, though, you gotta get past the barricade north of the prison. Got it. El Basilisco supposedly lives in the gorge up there, so be careful you don't get distracted and fall in the river. The Basilisco? Not the big monster I saw. I mean, the real Basilisco. <laughs> a real one? The legendary king of snakes? More like a lizard, I guess. It walks on top of the river. A uh, lizard that walks on water? Man, you should see it. It's not that big, though. Only about one bat along. Pretty good size for a lizard. Yeah, but not nearly as big as a dinosaur. So there's a real Basilisco that lives in the river? I'm only saying I heard stories from people who said they saw it. But I know lots of places to find it in Nicaragua. Do you want to go have a look? I don't have time for sightseeing. <sighs> you don't like lizards? It's not that. I just think snakes taste better. Who said anything about taste? How about you? You like them? Not that way. They do look kind of like dinosaurs, though. You don't think that's cool? No, they're both reptiles, yeah. But there's a big difference size-wise. I'll bet there are still big ones around somewhere. They say mammals multiplied and ate up their eggs. But they can't all be gone. They've got to exist somewhere out there. Hmm. Dinosaur eggs, huh? And animals are always evolving, right? Maybe they evolved so much, they don't even look like dinosaurs anymore. Then you can't really call them dinosaurs, can you? I guess not. Yeah. You're right. Dinosaurs have got to be big! To destroy the barricade north of the village, you'll need Composition 4 explosive. You've handled C4 before, right, Snake? Yeah. I've been a regular user since the days of C3. C3. Oh yeah, I remember. That stuff got brittle and useless in cold temperatures, so they upgraded. C4's a moldable plastic explosive. It's very stable and won't explode without a special detonator. Light it on fire and all it does is burn. A lot of American soldiers in Vietnam used to use it as fuel. Place it near the barricade and move to a safe location. Then hit the detonator button to blow it up. I'm on it. Those giant footprints near the terminal. What do you think they were, Kaz? It beats me. They're way too big, even for an elephant. Made me think of that Basilisco Chico was talking about. <laughs> Hope it's not for real. Same here. If they really do have that kind of weapon, 
We could be dealing with a basilisk in more than just looks. What do you mean? There's a medieval encyclopedia that describes the basilisk like this. The basilisk is the king of snakes. All snakes fear the basilisk and flee at its sight, lest they be slain by its foul breath. A snake to take out a snake, huh? I don't mean to scare you or anything, but it never hurts to be careful. Will do. When the enemy spots you and goes on alert, they may call in a backup strike team. These assault teams are heavily armed, well-trained, and highly dangerous. Amanda's crew calls them commandos. Unlike the patrolmen, these guys will actively, relentlessly track and hunt you down like hounds. Hmm. <laughs> hounds to hunt a former foxhound. Bring it on. They won't give up easily, even if they lose sight of you. They'll clear out any likely hiding places they come across. So don't get too comfy in one spot, or you might get caught again. Keep your eyes fixed on them and what they're doing. Also, be aware that commando gear includes body armor, so don't think you can deal with them by going in guns blazing. All I've got to do is find an exposed weak point, and... Exactly. There's one type of commando you really need to watch out for, and that's the kind toting shotguns. They can take a few hits and still keep charging you. And believe me, you don't want them closing in between those shotgun blasts. When they start charging, you need to stop them immediately. Use something with serious stopping power. Go back to the prison camp. It's in the village where they were holding Chico. The prison camp is to the south. Head south.
was that noise? What was that? I'm seeing things. What was that noise? I'm seeing things. West from there, and it'll take you straight to the prison camp.
gates on the northwest side of the prison camp. Cut across the camp to get there. We're under attack! First equip your C4. You can't plan a charge unless it's equipped. Footsteps! is located somewhere in that vicinity. Once the charge is planted, press the attack button without aiming to detonate it.
Snake, you there? Yeah, what's up? You've got to talk to Amanda. What happened? She wants to leave sickbay and get back on the battlefield, but she's not fully healed. She's still in crutches. Who'd be crazy enough to try and fight like that? You have to talk some sense into her. Is she with you right now? No, she's in sickbay. She keeps shouting about how she doesn't want to be there. She won't shut up about it. She's driving me- Let her go. What? If that's what she wants, let her go. I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Snake. I'm serious. Let her go. Why? So she can come back in a body bag? <sighs> I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Kaz. What are you talking about? Amanda isn't the type to just sit around in sickbay. She has a sense of duty. Her purpose in life is to fight. The battlefield isn't just the best thing for her, it's the best thing for her compass, too. She'll be a huge morale boost that can only benefit MSF. You think so? You're good at fighting, Kaz. One of the best. But you've got a lot to learn when it comes to people. So, where should I put her? I'll think it over and find a team for her. Don't worry. She won't let us down. Whatever you say, boss.